Welcome to the DHIS2 training video. In this video demonstration, you will be able to learn how to start DHIS2 and log in into the system. Following the demonstration, please practice the same on your own using DHIS2 and refer back to the video when necessary. In order to log in to DHIS2, you need to open an Internet Explorer. For this, you can use either Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox or even the Microsoft Internet Explorer. In my case, I'll be using Google Chrome to demonstrate the login process. Once the Internet browser is open, you need to type the address of the DHIS2 host in the address bar. If you do not have an address, you have to contact your technical administrator for DHIS and obtain the necessary details. In my case, I'll be typing the address as http colon slash slash localhost colon 8080 slash DHIS. Now remember, not all computers will respond to this address. Therefore, you need to contact your technical administrator to obtain the correct address for your setting. Once you type the address, you have to press the Enter key to arrive at the login screen. You will notice a blue colored screen with the DHIS2 logo on top, requesting you to type a username and a password. As I have already logged into the system once, it holds my username and password in its memory and inserts them once the login screen appears. Therefore, I need not type it again, but I can just press the login button. But if not, you have to type the correct username and the relevant password to log in. Depending on the username and the password that you type, the level of access within the DHIS2 will be determined. The level will be determined by the system administrator depending on your usage within the system. Once you press in the login button, you will be arriving into a welcome screen. But in my case, as I have not yet defined a database in the system, it gives me a message saying the database is currently running in memory. I can simply press the proceed button and arrive in the welcome to DHIS2 screen. Now you have completed the first task of DHIS hands-on training. Please practice what you have learned and post any queries in the online discussion forum which follows or ask from the on-site DHIS tutor for further clarification.